Gentlemen, thank you for attending my Naval Academy. Today we'll be going over the funnest and most effective strategies in World of Warships. I'll be ranking them from F tier to S tier. Do keep in mind that this is primarily about having fun, a concept that I know is alien to a large part of the player base. With that being said, let us begin. Starting off, we have the Backline Sniper. That one battleship player that seems to be glued to the border of the map for 90% of the match. This tactic rarely pays off with players spending 15 minutes to maybe get one or two actual good hits in during the match. In addition, you're in a battleship! The class that is supposed to tank for the team. It's hard to do that chilling behind your spawn and behind the CV. There's only really one or two battleships that can do this at each tier, so there's a 70% chance that players are using the incorrect ship for this and further barely contributing to the team. They may get a decent amount of damage during the match, but that doesn't really matter if you're not fulfilling your role as a battleship. F tier. Next up, we have the backline CV. The backline CV also sits in the back, usually next to the backline sniper. While this does ensure the safety of the CV, it increases the travel time of the CV's planes to the target, which means less spotting for the team and less damage being done. It also inevitably draws the game out as this strat usually has the CV running to the J10 or A1 square when the match doesn't go well for the CV's team. <laughs> F tier. Straightus Linius is the tactic of sailing in a perfectly straight line broadside to the enemy team in order to get all of your guns on target. This is mostly something newer players do, as they normally do not know better, but it's a good thing that Payne is an excellent teacher. Needless to say, this is a horrible idea, and something you should never do unless you really want to go back to port without turning pink. This is also something that I find a lot of American battleship players doing, especially in a ship like the Iowa that has excellent maneuverability. Needless to say, F tier. The exclusive torpedo boat is forgetting that your destroyer has guns and only using torpedoes. I get it. Shimakaze has great torps, but guess what? She has guns too. Exclusive torpedo boat captains will ignore this and only use their destroyer's torpedoes, even when another destroyer pops up within their detection range. This completely gimps the ship and will lead to the death of the destroyer and of course cost the friendly team a destroyer, which is a very important asset to have in the game. But unfortunately, the friendly destroyer does die 99% of the time when the captain uses a strategy rather than using, well, the rest of their destroyer. F tier. Alright, moving on to D tier. Here the tactics improve slightly. You might actually manage to do something and get by as a mediocre teammate here. Sometimes. Smoke farming. Starting us off is smoke farming. Smoke farming is simple and easy to use. Pop into a match with a destroyer or cruiser equipped with smoke screen and rapid firing guns. Find a position where you can see the enemy team. Pop that smoke screen and hold down left mouse. Profit. It is a completely simple brain dead strategy, but it is effective at dealing damage and annoying the enemy team. You'll be setting fires left, right, and central most of the time if you can aim at least. However, it is boring as hell. It also makes you target number one because you just pissed off the enemy's battleships. 
Also, smoke screens attract torpedoes, lots of torpedoes. So make sure you run Hydro if you have it. An effective but dull way to earn damage. D tier. Next up we have W. W means you slam the W key on your keyboard and forget you have an S key. You see this most often in German battleship players. Yes, you have an extremely tanky battleship with awesome secondaries, but your awesome armor scheme also makes it to where you eat pins like it's the dollar menu McDonald's and you're a poor college student. W can work if you get lucky and manage to stumble into a lone ship or two, but most of the time you'll just expedite your return to port while dying in the first 5 minutes of the match and contributing nothing but your damage to the enemy team. However, when it does work, it is quite fun, but it rarely works like you imagine it will in your head. D tier. Alright gentlemen, we are advancing to C tier. Here the tactics begin to get effective, and we must engage in more of our brains. The Island Waifu. The Island Waifu strat has been around for just as long as the game has been out. You grab your heavy cruiser, find an island, and hug it. Hug it hard. Using the island to block any potential incoming shells to your side, it still works today, but not as well as before. We now have the following to counter it. Skip bombers, submarines, Dutch cruisers, Soviet CVs, and more. But if you happen to get in a match without any of that, it can still work fine. It's just getting into a match without any of that. Ah. C tier. The CV Hunter is a player with a stealthy destroyer whose sole purpose in life is to find the enemy CV and kill it, regardless of anything else happening in game. This strat sends you on a quest from God to murder that CV. Now, obviously, there are several other tasks DD should be focusing on during the match, but take out the enemy CV can be a huge pickup for your team. However, the strat has a 50-50 success rate and will get your team scorning you in chat even if it works, because now you're on the other side of the map away from the caps and away from most of the ships that your team can shoot at. Attempt at your own risk. C tier. Enemy cruiser detected. Enemy aircraft carrier sunk. Victory is in sight. Farming is a very simple concept. One, pick your favorite HE spammy DD or cruiser. Two, find pinata. 3. Set pinata on fire. 4. Pinata put out fire. 5. Repeat. Get big damage. You do this over and over and over and over. You get a big number at the end of the match in terms of damage. You get big profit, but you do not help team. You focus on farming to a fault. It will get you purple stats, however. Simple. Effective at padding stats. Not effective at helping the team, since you're farming one or two ships for the most of the match, rather than doing your job as a cruiser, C tier. The ship is on fire! Gentlemen, the time has come. We are now progressing into the fun territory. Here, the strats get better, and the fun goes up. Let us proceed. Yolo Emilio! The Paulo Emilio is a tier 9 research bureau ship. It has one purpose in life. To YOLO! Find a flank with open water, or islands to hide behind. Hug the border. Find battleships. Each set of torp tubes on the Apollo can take out one tier 9 battleship from full health, unless they have around a 40% or above torpedo protection. Proceed to just outside your detect range, pop speed boost and exhaust mode. Deliver torpedoes at 60 knots to the enemy ships, laugh and run. You can get one, maybe two, perhaps three runs off if everything goes well. It takes a few attempts to get it down, and it depends on the enemy DDs not being, well, anywhere near you, but is 100% worth it for the immense Google value. Hi, Rega. I know you can't stop your turn because you're a Russian. <laughs> Hi, Iowa. Nice, nice, see. Nice, nice. Do it, do it, do it. Do it, do it. Do it. Do it. Is it. Once that enough for an Iowa? Yes, I think so. Survey says yes. Hi, John Bart. You're gonna get the JP too. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna oh, take yeah. my farm, damn it? This is my farm, sir. Hit, 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 hit. <laughs> B tier. Pizza time. 
Remember how the backline CV stays behind spawn and hides behind an island? The frontline CV is the opposite of that. You are the battle carrier. You move with the team. You are literally a mobile airbase. Use that ability. Get close, have hella fast plane cycle rate, crush enemy team. You get spotted, that's okay. The enemy team will get tunnel vision for you and forget that the rest of your team exists. Bonus points if you use the Graf Zeppelin with Luchins and a secondary build to turn the cards on the enemy ships that try to sneak up on you. B tier. Running and gunning is a similar strat to Stratus Linnaeus, except we're in a DD and we use our brains and unlock the A and D keys. Throttle down, speed boost, gun, gun. More gun, some more gun, extra gun. You care not that you are spotted, that is what you want. You annoy the enemy team with your existence. You make them focus on you and miss because of your immense speed. You do not stop gunning. B tier. Remember W? This is W, but you use your higher order thinking skills. You isolate targets into 1v1s. You angle your armor. You avoid the ram. You don't turn broadside after. You establish dominance over the enemy. And a ship can be a close quarters god if you use your brain and approach correctly and wait until the enemy's lines have broken or fallen back. The reactions after you pull this off are normally pretty good and worth it alone. B tier. Drive me closer. I want to hit them with my sword. Welcome to A tier, gentlemen. The strats are funnier, the stakes higher, the ships memeier. Let's begin with the throttle juke. Throttle juke is a similar strat to Stratus Linnaeus in W, except we unlock the last key on Mossad. Yes. We can go fast ahead. We can go fast to port. We can go fast to starboard. But now we go fast in reverse. This will cause the enemy team to have an existential crisis trying to hit you. You also vary your speed to throw them off even more. One quarter speed is the bane of many a player's existence. Use it. Be unpredictable and ungovernable. Rack up potential damage. Take away shells that would be going toward your teammates. Watch the enemy players give up. Profit. A tier. Right now, Schlieffen is broken. Her secondaries cannot be broken. Therefore, she is broken. So, equip IFHE. Equip Luchins. Build into secondaries. Equip Consumment Skill in Mod. Now your secondary range is essentially your detection range. Find enemy bolt. Isolate. Watch them not be able to do literally anything against you or your 32 secondary mounts. Laugh. Profit. Repeat. A tier. You know those cap things? Yeah, you need those to win. Get in a cap contesting DD like Daring, Holland, or Smalland, or so forth and so on. Stern into the cap. Bait the enemy. Deny the enemy DD entry into the cap. Torpedo. Protect your cap like the rabid chihuahua you are. Take cap. Win game. Profit. A tier. You know those ships with the green Doritos above their names? Those are DDs. You need those. Protect them. Shoot the red Doritos. Radar the red Doritos if you can. Hydro the red Doritos if you can. Kill the red Doritos. Support your Dorito. Shoot enemy cruiser that is shooting at your Dorito. Sink enemy DD. A tier. Welcome to the final tier, gentlemen. This is the thinking man's tier. First off, get a friend. That's hard. Find another friend. That's harder. All of you take the same ship. The Mimir, the better. Find an enemy ship. Make him regret existing. Triple Leon, classic. Triple Shimakaze, dirty. Triple Colombo, beautiful. Triple Issei.
intense fun and giggling will be had. The enemy team will regret their existence. S tier. This is personally my favorite at the moment. Take a ship with exhaust smoke, preferably Napoli. Actually, take Napoli, no matter what. Then take two of any combination of Grosser Kerr first and Schlieffen. Everyone builds into secondaries. Have the two battleships get in formation behind the Napoli. Napoli smokes into the cap, someone launch a plane, and let your secondaries go to town on the enemy team. Or, if there's no spotting available, stay in the smoke until the smoke screen runs out, and then ambush the enemy team. Focusing down each ship one at a time with your secondaries and melting them with a combined might of the three god tier secondary ships. What's the enemy team going to do? Sink three of the toughest ships in the game right now before you can sink them? and use these fine strategies to the best of your abilities, my naval cadets. I thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. We are on our way to 35,000 subscribers. We just passed 31,500 a few days ago. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Hope you all have a wonderful Thursday. I will be live streaming right here on the channel tonight and on Twitch from 5 p.m. U.S. Central Time to 8 p.m. U.S. Central Time. So please come out for that. Again, hope you all have a wonderful weekend and a wonderful Christmas. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.